I finished my latest short film, and unfortunately the lead actress in the film is not alive to see it. Um, so I'm going to try to get through this post without crying. Uh, I cannot promise that. So the film is called Jelking for Gains. Um, it's a short comedy that I did um, as part of my Dirty Little Shorts, Dirty Little Short Films. Um, and we shot the film back in 2019. It, I believe, was in October 2019. And Jessica Amal Rice, uh, who is the star of the film and who also helped me produce it, um, at that time, she was fine. Um, she was healthy. Uh, we had a great time. It was a great shoot. And. Uh, the plan was, uh, because I don't have access to editing equipment here, um, she was going to, so she provided the cameras, the sound equipment, uh, she, you know, has that, or, or had that stuff. And she had a computer that I could use to edit. Shot it and started editing it uh, in 2019, late 2019 and was starting to get into a rhythm of editing into January, February, and then in March, COVID hit, and by that time, she was pregnant. So she had gotten pregnant, I guess, right after we shot the short film, and um, because at the, time, at the time, she wasn't pregnant, or at least didn't know that she was pregnant, and so in March of 2020, COVID hit and I told her, look, I, you know, everyone's going into lockdown. Um, I said, I, I'm not sick. I don't believe that I have the coronavirus, but uh, I don't want to risk anything because you're pregnant. So shut down the editing. And in April, she had her daughter, Regina. And then after Regina was born, she, uh, Jessica, went into the hospital and they discovered that she had cancer. So she had had cancer for uh, at least a few months. So during the time that she was pregnant, she had cancer. And it was lung cancer, but... Um, it, she wasn't a smoker. It was something genetic. It was pretty aggressive. So throughout 2020, she was fighting it. She was doing chemo. She was doing uh, radiation. She was doing all the things that the doctors were telling her to do. Uh, she went through a rough patch. She got COVID. Um, and through all that, she survived and seemed to be doing really well. And so we got back to editing sporadically and uh, sometimes she would have, um, she wouldn't be feeling as well and so we'd have to uh, pause the editing. But the film was getting closer to being finished. And um, the, I saw her in June of 2021 and I was working on the sound design for the film. So I had finished editing it and was working on the sound design, and Jessica seemed to be recovering. She seemed to be doing really well. It looked like she was uh, uh, on the mend. Um, I did not know at the time, ignorantly, I thought that she was getting better. I did not realize that it was terminal. Um, so at that time, I showed her the cut of the film, and she, loved it and my concern as the director was look i know that people's lives change she had cancer she had a child uh the content is it's comedic but as a lot of my films are it, it's uh, got a lot of sexual content to it and and jessica is the only actress in the film it is her film and she's on camera the whole time so in my mind i thought you know what i better check in with her and make sure that she's still okay with the film because if she's not then that's a different conversation you know 
Um, if she's, you know, because I've had actresses say, look, I'm a mom now. I don't do that kind of stuff anymore. I'm, you know, the sexual stuff is not, uh, not appropriate for me anymore. So I thought maybe that's happened with Jessica. Um, and so I showed it to her. She laughed her ass off. She loved it. She said, I love it. It's great. Keep going. I can't wait till it's finished. And, um, and I had that conversation with her. I said, I'm, I'm so relieved. I said, I thought, you know, I didn't know if you had changed your mind about wanting to be in the film. And she said, no, I, I don't think of things that way. That's a performance, you know, and I'm really proud of it. And it's hilarious. And so she was, you know, it was thumbs up, keep going. Um, so we were making plans for me to keep working on it. And um, then I didn't hear from her for a while. And Jessica is somebody who posted almost every day on Instagram. And so during the times when she would stop posting, I would check in because I thought, you know, something's not right. And most of the time, sure enough, she was back in the hospital or, or something was, was wrong. And so, um, <laughs> my voice is cracking. Um, so, didn't hear anything. She hadn't been posting on social media. And of course, I was getting worried. And I texted her, I texted her husband, Alec, and um, both of them were kind of saying, kind of implying that she wasn't doing well. And, and Jessica, I could tell, was trying to keep it positive, just saying, you know what, I'm just tired. Um, Alec saying, you know, she, she's going to live with her dad so she can be closer to the hospital. Um, those kind of things. So I started getting worried, but I really thought, you know what, she looked so good the last time I saw her, she's getting better. She's going to pull through. She's a fighter. She's got so many, she's got so much positive energy going toward her. So many people that love her. Um, if anybody's going to make it, she's going to make it. Uh, and then in October, right after her birthday, uh, unfortunately, um, I heard from her husband who was essentially saying she's not good. Um, basically, come say your goodbyes. Um, so yeah, at that point I went and visited her in the hospital um, and it really wasn't her anymore. Um, she was emaciated, uh, she didn't look like herself, definitely not the way I want to remember her, but I just, um, you know, held her arm, rubbed her arm, told her I loved her, um, just tried to keep it light and, and joked around with her and her husband, she was in a coma, she couldn't, uh, talk, um, but I could see her responding to my voice and... I could tell she could hear what I was saying. And I basically, yeah, said my goodbyes. And then the next day she passed away. <sighs> um, so it's been hard getting back to the film. I was debating on whether or not to finish it. And then when, we, when I went to her celebration of life, I saw her best friend there who had also watched the film at the same time that I showed it to Jessica and she asked me the first thing she said was, did you finish the film yet? And I said, you know, I'm debating on whether or not to, to finish it because it's so, you know, it's sexual, it's comedy, it's all these things. It's, it's not, you know, um, it's not necessarily a tribute to her, you know, it was just a film that we decided to do before she got sick. It was an idea that I had had for a while and, and she was down to do it and really went for it. And so I, you know, was really debating on whether or not to finish it. And her best friend said, you have to finish it. She said, it's so funny. And Jessica would want you to finish it. Um, 
and I do believe that. I mean, there's a, a, definitely a part of me that it's, you know, it's, it, it was hard to work on it. Um, at times it was really wonderful to work on it because it is funny and it is fun to watch and it is, you know, her at her best. And she was a funny person. She was a, a, a light, you know, she was just a beacon of light. And uh, I know it sounds cheesy to say that, but but that's who she was and that comes across in my opinion in her performance and in who she was and she wanted to make people laugh she was making videos while she was sick you know not very often but she was still making videos trying to make people laugh so so i do believe that she wanted the film to be finished i am extremely proud of the film um i am of course sad that she will never be able to see it in its finished phase and I, I guess that really depends on you know what you believe in spiritually whether she's seeing it or not there is a part of me that believes that she is able to see it on some level um, but yeah not not in not in this realm um, so I don't know that I was planning on telling that whole story but that's the that's the whole story. Um, now the film is finished. Uh, my hope was to get it finished in time to premiere it at the Florida Film Festival. Unfortunately, that I missed the deadline there. I contacted them yesterday, the the um, the head of programming there, and he said, "Yeah, it's too late. We've already made our schedule," which I understand. Um, but that is one of my favorite festivals um, to to show films and I I guess I have more films I've had more films play at the midnight shorts than any other filmmaker well I'm tied with another filmmaker for most times for most shorts at the midnight shorts so I, I really it really has a special place in my heart the Florida Film Festival I was hoping to premiere it there um, but it's just, it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. So, so I'm considering other festivals. I'm going to start submitting it to other film festivals. Um, in the meantime, uh, well, after I find out where the premiere is going to be and when, I'll then start making plans to release the film first on my Patreon page for my patrons. Um, and then, uh, and then obviously have it premiere at film festivals. Um, I'm, it's mixed emotions. I'm excited for people to see it because I'm so proud of it, but, uh, and I want people to see it obviously. And at the same time, you know, there, most of the time that I was working on it, I was just laughing and enjoying it and, and I, I would be going along and then all of a sudden I would start crying. Uh, and I would have to put it aside for a day or two. And that's just kind of how the journey has been with this film. And I, I'm interested to see. I don't expect this to be an easy journey um, getting it out to the public. Uh, so it's mixed emotions. I'm excited and at the same time, uh, yeah, nervous, sad, um, apprehensive, um, you know, just a, just a whole blender full of different emotions. So uh, I'm just going to go on this ride and try my best to honor Jessica's memory and to um, honor the film itself. And, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention how I knew Jessica. So Jessica was actually, uh, my intern when, um, we first started having interns back in 2007 or 2008. And she was in a, she was being directed by my former business partner, Jim Esham, my producing partner. And he said, you know, there's this woman that I am directing in a show and she's really great. And she said she wants to be an intern for us. And 
we both just kind of laughed about it and then I guess she brought it up again she said she really wanted to be an intern for us so she at the time was going to film school and really just liked the stuff that we were doing and had great energy obviously and and liked us we all got along and so she started she basically started our internship program so she was our first intern and then she had other friends that wanted to intern for us and at one point we had five interns and that was all thanks to Jessica and it was just because that's how she was if she you know if there was something that she was interested in she just did it and that's how she approached this film, Jelking for Gains, I, I didn't initially ask her, I asked two other women and they said they were, wanted to do it and then when it came down to the sexual content, they weren't comfortable with it and so I just, I had thought of Jessica but she wasn't my first choice because I didn't think she would do it. And even though she knows the kind of films that I make, but I asked her and she said, yeah, I, I'm, so excited that you asked me and I'd be honored to do it. And I was really kind of shocked. I said, you know, Jessica, I didn't think you'd do it. And she goes, no, I, she said, I made a commitment and it's going to get me again. Um, she basically said, you know, life is short and I don't want to have lived my life knowing that I didn't take risks. She said, I want to take more risks as an actor. Um, and that was part of her reasoning for doing it and that she trusted me and and she likes my films and she was excited to do it. So anyway, that's uh, that's how Jessica and I Jessica and I met, how we knew each other. And then we worked on multiple things from that point on while she was interning. She was the uh, production manager for one of my feature films which I haven't finished yet and that's another element of this that it's really um, driven home for me that we do not know how much time we have on this earth and it's been a motivating factor for me to get these projects done that I've had lingering like objects which I shot back in 2008 that's that was the project that Jessica was the production manager on and production designer and it's just another reminder hey get these projects done because there's no guarantee that you know there's no guarantee of how much time I've got left or anybody Jessica was young she was in her late 30s and like I said she had just had her birthday so um, yeah so it's another just another reminder and, and motivator